Hello and welcome to this presentation. I am going to show you how to easily create walls and slabs in Cube with Stracon 2020. Today I want to begin with the command wall. Clicking on this icon, additional toolbar appears. Now I can enter the wall thickness, height and assign the material. During the modeling it's possible to switch wall positioning settings left, middle or right. As well as there are options to change wall height, switch sloped wall into rectangular, change wall thickness and add horizontal offset during the modeling. You can notice that offset line is in blue. I can activate additional options by clicking on the wall height icon and then enter button and top levels values. Also, I can select rectangular wall type that entering inner wall measurements. I continue modeling the inner walls by entering a new wall height, vertical offset and activating plan top view option. If I pick wrong point, I can use option delete last point. Now I want to show you the wall modeling option datum level based on floor. I need set button and top levels values of the second floor and easily model second floor according to PDF plan without changing coordinates. Finally, I am going to create curved wall with tools, create an arc tangentially from a starting point, an arc, and create an arc tangentially between two points. There is option to change wall geometry afterward. For example, wall connection joints for rectangular walls or curved walls in Stracon. Parameters of the wall can be edited in the object data table, where I can edit wall height or thickness. As an alternative, I can change the wall geometry by activating grip points. For example, I can easily move top points of the wall or enter distance manually to change the height of the wall. If I need additional point, I can use a tool Insert Cross Section in the Wall and place it by entering distance from the start of the wall manually. And then I can change the wall geometry with grip points. It is also possible to insert a height difference in the wall. This can be refit using grip points. Finally, I can delete this additional section and the wall geometry updates automatically. And the last tool is wall splitting tool. I just enter split distance manually and instead of one I have two walls. Now I am going to model several openings for windows. In this case, a wall opening is modeled using the parameters with width height, sill height and standard reference point. The opening plays directly on the wall surface and I can determine the location using a reference point and distance. 
As alternative, I can set the reference point manually by activating user defined reference point icon. Wall openings can be placed using the top view with transparent material. Finally, I can easily model wall openings using automatic reference point tool, which automatically determine wall reference point, start or end of the wall. In this case, I can place openings according to PDF plan. Door openings are modeled using door tool. I need enter door width, a height and determine the position. An additional type of the wall opening is the wall height slot. I can determine cut through the wall or set a depth. The last wall opening option is create opening. I enter width a high of the opening and determine opening position in the wall. As well as I specify reference point and enter a distance and height of the opening. If it is necessary, I can quickly edit existing opening, slot, opening for window or door using rip points. Set distance manually or edit according to PDF plan. With Stracon, we can also easily create concrete slab by selecting material, entering sideways offset and thickness of the slab. I model slab geometry by picking corner points. During modeling, I can switch offset settings from outer to inner or turn it off. Offset line is in blue. Slab geometry is closed automatically, then I determine start point again. Now I can change the position of the slab thickness and model additional openings using existing walls and PDF plan. If I pick a wrong point, I can always delete the last point and get exact opening geometry. The last action to get the desired results is to add curved shape slab using a tool profiles along the entry. I pick the corner point, enter slab thickness manually and change material. The last step in this example is to make changes in the slab using grip points. This is how the 3D wall slabs could be modeled with Stracon. Enjoy!